hello everyone and welcome back to queen varieties channel varieties the spice of life isn't it yes in today's episode i am super excited to share two styles on how to bake and decorate a super delicious and rich african nigerian vanilla cake recipe step by step without oven and with oven method of preparation for beginners and especially learners don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel share my video with your friends and loved ones at the same time turn on your bell notifications for instant alert anytime i upload new videos thank you all ingredients used for this recipe will be dropped in the description section don't forget to check that segment you will need buttermilk for this recipe that is because it plays a huge role I'm going to prepare a homemade buttermilk into the cup i have one cup of fresh milk to that i have added one juice of a lemon mix and combine set it out for exactly 10 good minutes also feel free to use store bought buttermilk if you prefer please subscribe to my channel turn on your bell notifications so that you will always get instant alert anytime i upload I'll place another bowl to my surface to that I will add 200 grams of softened butter. Make sure all ingredients you're using for this recipe is at room temperature. Alright, so to that I have added 1 cup of sugar. Here we are going to beat and combine until both ingredients become super fluffy and then we will set it out. The binding process should take place between 3 to 5 good minutes. This step is extremely very very important because it plays a huge role in the outcome of your cake. Now I'll use my spatula mix and combine and continue whisking it until everything is perfectly ready. And at this point in time you can see that the appearance has significantly changed. It's now fluffy and it's ready to now add the next ingredient. For this recipe I'll be using 6 fresh eggs everything is at room temperature please be very very mindful of that yes so i'll begin to add the egg one step at a time when i add one i will beat i'll add another one i will beat this step and process is also extremely very very important i will keep doing this until the six eggs are combined effectively and then we'll go forward at this stage the combining process is now done i'm going to set the wet mixture aside and here introduce the dry ingredients i'll be using two and a half cup of flour to that i'll add a combination of um, vanilla sugar cinnamon and salt let me remind you that the cinnamon you can substitute to nutmeg next i'll add baking powder and baking soda combine everything mix for even consistency and appearance and here i'm going to pass every item now into the sieve sift it carefully the sifting process plays a huge role so please make sure you do that next i'll begin to add the buttermilk step by step until an even appearance is formed i will also add a um, vanilla aroma you can use vanilla extract sifting the remaining portions of um, the dry ingredients and combine everything this place you have to be very very careful at this stage because you don't want to end up with a dry cake Yes, so this place is where you have to pay significant amount of carefulness. <laughs> I don't know if I'm right with that grammar. You mix, mix until you can no longer see any traces of dry flour and then your batter becomes super smooth like what you can see on the screen right now. Once that is combined, remove your hand from the batter and do not mix further. So our cake batter is now ready. We are going to allow it to rest for at least 10 to 15 minutes while we prepare the cake pan. Here I'm going to brush it with a little quantity of butter, apply some flour to it. Next I will put in baking paper inside there and then brush again with some butter. You can use oil as substitute. Mix the cake batter once again and then pour it inside the cake pan can also split the batter into two or three portions of equal pans and then bake them all into the oven at the same time make sure your oven is preheated mine has been preheated at 150 degrees celsius yes so this is very very important and also place your cake at the center part of your oven not on the top and also not super below once again subscribe show your girl some love by subscribing share this video with your friends and loved ones we are going over to the no oven method of preparation 
already i have placed salt inside the pot i'll put in the rack and then cover this pot allow it to preheat for exactly five to ten minutes on medium settings my cooker settings is between zero to number nine i am preheating on number five after preheating for 10 minutes, I'll bring in the cake batter into the pot. I'll then go ahead and cover it and reduce my heat all the way down to number 3. Okay, cover the pot and cook for exactly 30 to 40 minutes. Do not open the pot. 40 minutes later friends i am back to check the cake and wow look at what we have here it looks so beautiful you can see that cooking bubbles at the surface of it that means it is cooking beautifully make sure you're not using high heat to do this method use low heat okay i'll cover it once again and cook for extra 15 to 20 minutes because it is not ready and oh la la 20 minutes later or thereabouts the cake is now ready Yes, yeah, so you can see that the appearance has changed unlike what I showed earlier on. Now you're going to use knife or a skewer to check if it is ready. If it comes out smooth, then your cake is super, super ready. I'm going ahead to remove it from the pot, place it on the surface, allow it to cool down completely before we decorate it. Alright my beautiful friends, so at this point in time the cake now is perfectly cooled down after several hours. Here I'll remove the baking sheet from it and then we are going to place into a cling film and then transfer to the refrigerator to allow it to chill and become very cold before we make use of it. All right, friends, so the oven baked method after one hour, it is ready. I've allowed it to cool down completely. I will also transfer both cakes to the fridge for two hours, allow it to chill there, and then we will now decorate it. So guys, this is two hours later. We are ready to get down to business. Look at how beautiful the cake turned out and cut right through into the cake and here rotate my hands while i do this method and hold the top area of the cake firmly while i do this this is very common to cakes baked in the oven sometimes maybe because of the heat temperature it tends to pop up like that we notice i now have a level ground everything is now well beautifully sliced through and it looks beautiful to be decorated I'll repeat the same step to the no oven method guys you notice that both the oven method and the no oven method cakes look exactly alike look at how gorgeous and beautiful they turned out okay so here i'm trying to step up the cake i notice that the other one is still bigger in quantity what i'm going to do now is to give a third cut that way i will have um, three cakes instead of two Yes, you can also divide this cake into different segments and have maybe five steps instead of three steps. Use my cuckoo cutter and just bring out some love shapes I will use to decorate the final stage later when we are decorating butter icing to decorate the cake today i have a recipe already on how to make it i'll be linking it in the description section on the screen you can also see it watch it before you continue also you can change the cake colors according to how i explained in that video i placed a little icing on the board dropped the cake on it so that it will sit firmly and now i'll begin to use my spatula to scoop in icing on top of it use my spatula knife to spread across the cake and step it up and repeat the same step until i have dropped in all cakes once you have sat the cake on top of the icing please make sure it sits firmly you will want the sides to be equal in nature here i'm going to repeat this step by using my spatula to spread the icing on top of the last step and then the last layer for the last layer i'm going to turn it upside down so that the crumby area will be on top some people like to use knife to take away the brownish crumbs on the skin of the cake if you don't like it you can scrape it up but guys trust me that is where the depth of flavor is in your cake please don't take it out okay here i'm going to now apply generously the icing on all areas of the cake 
this step is very very important what we are doing here is the first step so you don't want to do a perfect job but at the same time you have to add a lot and lot of icing to spread on all areas of the cake I don't want to use too much icing because actually I'm making this for my family. We don't want to eat too much sugar. Yes, yeah, so that is why I am using little quantity of icing. But if you're making it for party, birthday cake, wedding, whatsoever, you have to make sure you ice it so much. Yes, yeah, so here I will transfer to the fridge, allow it to chill for 20 to 30 minutes. So once again, I'm reminding you to subscribe, share this video with your friends and loved ones. At the same time, like this video just so that you're supporting me for more cake recipes. 30 minutes later, guys, we are now back to continue the step. You can now see that the first icing added has now set. It looks a little bit dry. That is how you want to have it. I'll begin to apply much more icing on top of it repeat the same thing we did earlier on but this time around add lots and lots of icing to cover up any imperfections on the cake i'll use my spatula and also rotate the board around while i try to scrape and remove excess icing from the body of the cake I'm not going for a perfect smooth like i told you i am not using too much um, icing in fact these days you don't need to have a perfect job on icing your cake any rough cake decoration is also beautiful when you look at it i'll use the line scraper here and apply some lines on the cake and then use my star piper to pipe the icing on all areas Using the star nozzle to pipe at this point in time i love the style that it brings to cake decoration yes so you can also use any nozzle of your choice from your cake set choose any one and then pipe it's as simple as that i'll be doing double decoration or double piping like you can see just so that um, the cake will look a little bit fuller in the eyes and more beautiful to behold <laughs> okay so the style of decoration i'm going for this recipe is a kind of um, chrome coating i have chosen this style of decoration for especially those who are beginners it is very easy for you to apply this what i will do is to drop in the heart shapes that we cut out earlier on and generously sprinkle the crumbs on top area of the cake you can also apply this to the body if you don't want to go for this style you can use sprinkles or flowers or any happy birthday type of stuff to decorate your cake and that's it guys i'll transfer down to the fridge allowed to set for 20 to 30 minutes 30 minutes later we are ready now to dive into this cake let's taste it to see how rich creamy and delicious it turned out guys this cake was delicious it is delicious the depth of flavor the richness the beauty shows that it is delicious simple decoration but then amazing amazing don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel share my video with your friends and loved ones support your girl share my videos guys because if you do share it that way you're encouraging me to do more things for you variety is the spice of life stay blessed god bless you until i come your way next time God bless you. Bye for now.